Fuck yeah. Good morning. I just weighed myself and I'm at 112.0 kilos. So from 112.7 means I got rid of 0.7 kilos. It's one and a half pounds. I kind of assumed that I'd actually not lost anything or even gained weight this week, considering how I ate and how I had like chocolates and like baked goods every now and then and tasty yummy foods everywhere. But I lost weight, that's so cool. Yeah, let's get this day started. And breakfast time. I have my pineapple juice and my black tea with maple syrup and almond milk. My supplements, iron and zinc. I also put vitamin B12 drops in my tea, not to forget. And um, instead of my usual food, today I'm having those vegan gingerbreads because it's Christmas time now. <laughs> I'm back home after a long time out, almost it's quarter past 11, just took a shower. I went to the library to return quite a few books and pick up all the DVDs and Blu-rays of documentaries that I have to watch for uni. Kind of don't want to, but I guess it's not my choice at this point. And then I met up with a few of my friends for drinks and some sweet potato fries. Yeah, we haven't been together in this constellation for over a year, I think. So that's really cool. And caught up and talked and chatted and, you know, it was a good time, I really enjoyed it. Um, one of my other friends also had a birthday and I just realized I didn't pay for a drink. She gave me a present. <laughs> so she gifted me two coasters very Hedwig inspired coasters. This kind of destruction journal where like every page has like a task of like uh, tear out this page and like mess this page up and like fold this and paint this and that and whatnot. That's really cool. I'm sorry, Harry Potter themed. I hope J.K. Rowling didn't earn anything from it. She probably did, but you know. <sighs> yeah, and now I'm home. Oh, on my way home, I got a few groceries. Like a few things that I needed for the pumpkin spice syrup, I haven't talked about. I'm gonna make pumpkin spice syrup for pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, my friend also uh, spoke of a vegan dating app that I want to look up, look into. Sounds really good. Sounds fun. Anyway. Okay, I made one slice of toast. I got the chia seed toast with this chestnut spread. Ooh, that's really good. It, it tastes different than it looks. And also the texture is different than what it looks. It kind of looks like jam, you know? Nice. It is like Nutella, but not that sweet. Oh my gosh. Guess I get the big jar next time. <laughs> breakfast time with a very large breakfast tea with maple syrup almond milk and B12 supplements, my iron and zinc tablets, then I have my pineapple juice, and I have some skur, some vegan skur, with agave and blueberries, because I just want to get rid of leftovers. <laughs> Figured I could roast the pumpkin already, because that kind of happens by itself. And here I am, finely dressed to go out. I finished roasting the pumpkin, as you can see, and scooped out the flesh. And <laughs> it's literally more from that one pumpkin, from that one butternut squash, than I got from the two smaller ones for the soup last month. <laughs> so that's interesting. I'm gonna make pumpkin spice latte syrup for that. We'll see, also my hair is horrible today. Gosh, that's what you get when you go to bed with wet hair. So here's my plan. I'm gonna go to walk Miru. On my way back, I wanna detour to the mall and get a few things. And also, cause I'm gonna be around a big shoe store, I considered getting in there and looking at shoes, maybe trying on one or two. Potentially even buying a set. So, a set, a pair. Shoes, oh my God, shoes. Then I have to go head out again for 
therapy, then get back home and then make cookies again for work tomorrow. I'm thinking about only doing two different kinds, but I'll figure it out as I go. The two flavors I'm definitely gonna make is marble cookies. Then I also wanna do orange chocolate chip cookies. And then I was gonna do matcha cookies with pistachio. <coughs> Oh no, my nose, it sneezed. Guess I'll wash my hands in a second. And chocolate, white chocolate chips, which I got two bars of white chocolate for. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, good job. Always an adventure in this area. We were walking, this little one and me, and suddenly a cat was there next to him. He started growling. I'm like, what the fuck? And there's a cat. So I'm like, okay, let's go. The cat keeps following us, sly and slow. And I keep turning around, I'm like, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. I'm vegan for the animals, but if anyone hurts this one, you're dead. But if that cat had only tried in any of us, in any kind of capacity, tried to attack or, or kill. I mean, also, but hurt this little one. And I've kicked that cat's skull in. And then suddenly, we're almost home, and suddenly there's a second cat. Like, and, and the other cat, and they like, you know, join like the Siamese cats from Lady and the Tramp, and they started following us, like, what the hell? You feeling okay, pumpkin? You're not shaking, huh? Uncle Lawrence is so confusing. Wiggle, wiggle. Also, there's someone in the hallway. I don't know what to do. Let's just walk around. I'm home. My hair doesn't look any better. Ah, <sighs> what an adventure. On my way back, I went to, oh, I can show you, to Anatura and got some stock of nutritional yeast. The only bit that they had of Kalanamak. Got four liters of my ever beloved coconut almond milk. And I got some fake meat. There's like some fake fish fillets and some fake Virginia steak. And then I spent the money Hannah gifted me on shoes. She gave me so much money that I could afford two pairs. <laughs> so I chose this pair, Land Rover. I have like good soles, I think. They're black, so I can wear them with everything. And then I got these filas that are also mostly black, but they're kind of funky with the, can you see the, the spots on the sole and the, the soles are also like, I suppose good for, for when it's icy. And the poppy laces. Yeah, that's my shopping spree. I now have like 30 minutes before I have to leave for therapy. Back home. I've been to therapy, talked a lot about the year 2014, which I never noticed how much of a shit year that was for me. <laughs> Pasta casseroles in the oven, I took a shower, and what did I want to? Oh yeah, I forgot earlier to show that I had some of the cookies. It's like three or four of those lemon flavored, lemon cake style cookies. Mm. Yeah, and now, oh yeah, let's turn off the light. And now I'm gonna have more of the chestnut spread on toast. I think the leftover will only do half a slice. We'll, we'll see. Okay, it did like three quarters of another slice. So I did the other one with margarine, and then I also did another one and put some seasoning on it. Um, yeah. Back to candid competition. <laughs> I just looked at the recipe for the pumpkin spice syrup and realized that it requires quite a bit of maple syrup. And I have like maybe that much that'll last me for like two breakfast teas if I'm lucky. <laughs> Cause I chose not to do my shopping at dinner today. Dinner is ready. The pasta casserole, I chose to put some cheese on it. Hi, 
I just very spontaneously installed the new shower head. <laughs> so good. I totally also need to clean the shower, especially the mirror bit. But <sighs> got a new shower head. And it's breakfast prep o'clock. Made 11 of those. One to go in the fridge, 10 to be put aside. Mm. Figured I gotta get back to regular breakfast and not just continue to eat leftovers and sweets and cookies for breakfast. Cause we still wanna get rid of this. And now it's cookie baking o'clock. And the first batch of cookies is ready to go in. I still have like roughly a third of the dough, I would say, maybe it's even half. We'll see. On left, so get a lot of cookies. Make them smaller, so easier to share. Uh, and here we have the first batch, and it was super romantic next to the <laughs> food trash. Second one in, it's only nine instead of 12, so that's fine. Also, already started on the batter for the other one, but I will need to clean this first if I can mix it all together. It's the wet ingredients, the dry ingredients. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I took the second batch out of the... Oh, this, that looks like an eight. That's funny. Took the second batch out of the oven and I've uh, mixed the, uh, the, the, the the dough for the orange chocolate chip cookies. I might add some more chocolate chips. I don't know. I need to let that cool though because I don't know where else to put things to cool. Then also I'm thinking if that's enough. Gosh, this is dirty. Oh. I'm a mess. This batch, okay, first set, flattened, and it's not that much left. This is probably like four, maybe five, if even. Yeah, pop them in the oven. And the last four, very much small <laughs> cookies are done. Just fresh out of the oven. I'll let the other ones cool a little. Put those in a, in a container. There are a few left that didn't fit anymore. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll have some space left in this. But because of the chocolate chips, they need to actually like really cool down before I put them anywhere else. So... I just applied the backlight to my TV. Slightly crooked as you can see, but I guess that's fine. The rest is pretty centered. Took the TV off the stand, put it on the table so I could, you know, work on the back. And what even is that? It's a lot of... Tape. Mm. It works! I still have to figure out how the... Uh... Ooh. It looks different on camera, but it, that's a pretty blue. Okay. Red. Green. Blue. Purple. Orange. Oh, that's cute. Oh. oh my gosh. I'm so happy that's so good. That's so cute. Oh, I... mm. Cool. Okay. <laughs> and back to a regular programming when it comes to breakfast. Mm. And now I'm having some of the leftover marble cookies that didn't fit in the big box that I'm taking to work as a little snack. I still have to finish my tea. Okay, I had it in the laundry yesterday, and now it's on the wall. The first Christmas decoration is up. My Christmas tree. Gotta put ornaments on it and stuff, but... I'm back home from work and I detoured to Primark, more on that in a bit. Brought the cookies to work and they were the talk of the town. It's really nice, I got quite a few compliments on, on my baking skills. There are still some left, so it was not too few. That was my fear that it was like gonna be out today and no one would get anything that uh, would come in tomorrow, Friday. Also, I got a few happy birthdays, which was really sweet. I have been asked a few times how old I turned, and I always make people guess, because 
it's just so good to like hear people guess 24 <laughs> so turns out i'm doing something right so my face doesn't melt and crack i also got a gift from one of my co-workers i got like office stationery got some notepads and and pens <laughs> Then I went to Primark and got a Prince t-shirt and a blue hat and two notebooks because I'm a stationery nerd. Some Christmas stickers, like Mickey Mouse themed Christmas stickers. A new phone case because the one I'm using is, oh girl, she, mm. And of course I got Santa candles, like a dark pomegranate <laughs> and Cinnamon and clove. I don't, I mean, the smell was nice, but I really like that they had like stuff in it. That's so cute. I also bought a few more things at the Primark, but I can't show them because Christmas presents. November 3rd, and I bought my first Christmas presents this year. Also, I primarily went in to get a specific thing to gift someone. They didn't have it anymore. But I quickly found something else. And there were so many more things that I am still considering going back for. <laughs> we'll see. Especially wrapping paper. That really cute wrapping paper. But I didn't want to carry wrapping paper around. The oven is preheating for pasta casserole. And the pasta casserole is done. The last of the seven that I have. And I put cheese on it again. Hmm? And breakfast time. Made myself a large tea with... Maple syrup, agave juice, because I had this little tiny bit of maple syrup left, and oat milk, my pineapple juice, my supplements, zinc and iron, and my oven needles and chelsea's. <laughs> I just measured my body, and most of the things that I measured haven't changed. The things that have changed is my arm circumference, my leg circumference, and my overbelly circumference. Everything else has pretty much stayed the same. Oh, and my penis length. There's improvement on that already. Are you so sleepy today? Yeah. Oh, honey. I'm not sure if you're gonna like going out today because it's still raining. It's more of a drizzle, but still. It's so wet. It's so cute. Miro. You're so wet, aren't you? Yes, yeah, shake it up. <laughs> oh, my hair looked so good earlier. I'm back home from walking the pumpkin and I went straight to therapy after, which has no causality, that's just how my schedule was today. <laughs> and on my way back, I was trying to find some tiny envelopes so I can do something for my bullet journal, but I didn't find one that were a good size. So I didn't buy any, but I decided I'll check online. I do now know what I don't want, <laughs> at least. And then I went to DM and got some shopping done. And I got some Asian food from the Asian corner store at the underground. Anyway, let me show you what I shopped. Kitchen roll, some new toilet paper. They only had the four pack. Usually I get the two pack because it lasts forever. Now it's going to last me a year, I guess. They also didn't have cute, I mean like, these are kind of cute, but like not printed tissues where something was printed on them, I would have preferred that. Some new bleaching kits, I got two more boxes, one portion oven and fridge freezer tight. So maple syrup that I forgot the other day, then I got three shower body washes, got another three in one that I haven't tried yet. And then they had these like special winter Christmassy flavors, so of course I got that. Got an advent tea calendar, thought that was kind of cute. Wipes for cleaning, those are bum wipes. Then I got more supplements, iron and zinc. Love how everything's upside down today. <laughs> and replacement nail files, because I just did my nails yesterday and I think they're not gonna live much longer. Yeah, and that's the Asian food, but let me show you when it's, once it's unwrapped. I've been craving a Tom Ka for quite a while, so I got one and it's a much, much, smaller new container i don't mind it's a new container and this looks pretty environmentally more friendly than the old one but it's so much less and then also this this is like the opposite of this new packaging and this also seems much smaller and it was more expensive as well 
Uh, anyway, back to Mariah Carey Christmas music. Okay, and before the pumpkin goes bad, I'm making pumpkin spice syrup. Those are the ingredients. Did I forget anything? Sugar. I may have accidentally put in triple the amount of coconut milk and had to fill it up with triple the amount of all the other ingredients. So we're gonna have a lot of syrup. <laughs> so that's the syrup strained, so it's not like chunky. So it needs to cool down, but it's really thick already. I've got some leftover pumpkin. That I'm gonna make soup from sometime. I don't know. Still waiting for it to cool down until I, before I fill it into containers. Okay, I portioned them. Those small containers, that's like exactly two portions of syrup for like two cups of coffee. And I have a few more that I put directly in the freezer. That's the first thing I did. Put as much syrup as I can in this ice cube maker. And I think I would need three to four ice cubes for one portion, but that's fine. I guess if I don't freeze it, then it will go bad because I'm not drinking 10 cups of coffee in a week. Ooh, that means I'll try the coffee I got for my birthday. I'm making coffee the old fashioned way. Finally trying her. <laughs> And breakfast time, pineapple juice, my oatmeal to eat, my supplements. I have coffee today instead of tea with my pumpkin spice syrup. Lunch at dinner at the movies. Do you want to be my vlog? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Coke Zero. I'm back home, and that's where the lighting is. Always end up in that spot because of the lighting. I was at work and that was nothing special. I didn't eat at work because I didn't have bananas and I didn't have anything else I could take. And also I wasn't really hungry at work, kind of, I don't know if that's good, but that happened. I then met up with Hassan to go see Eternals at the theater. And um, that was a really cool movie. I really liked it, especially how much representation there is in the film. The gay bits could have been a bit more gay. It took me until the kiss to realize it's gay. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it took me until the kiss to realize they're gay. And that could easily be edited out and no one in China will know. So, and um, another spoiler alert. Harry Styles is actually in the end credit scene. I've seen rumors and TikToks about it and it's true. I think he's much better at singing and songwriting <laughs> and performing, but acting? Yeah. Haven't seen anything else of him acting other than iCarly, but I guess also that doesn't count. So first time I consciously seen anything with Kit Harrington in it, turns out he's kind of cute too. Ooh, now I remember something from work, but I probably shouldn't be saying this. We have a new coworker. I guess that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> After I only had breakfast and a sandwich at the theater, I kind of want to eat something now, but I don't want to cook. So I don't know what to do other than eat chocolate. But then I also don't want chocolate. I want something savory. Hmm. I have decided to cook in the end. I sparred some courgette, two full courgettes, in fact. And I have this pesto. I want to... I haven't tried. I've also never tried that, so I'm trying a lot of things here. <laughs> That's it. That's two full medium sized courgette sweated down. I've taken off the liquid quite a few times. There's still quite a quite a pool in there. Added half the jar of the pesto, which by itself tastes really good. And I'm gonna have that now. I think that's good. A good late, light, light, late lunch. <laughs> Dinner? God. So I ate that, that was really yum. I also spread some on my white t-shirt. I'm very talented, a talented eater. And now I'm on to some chocolate. I mean, not the whole thing. Oh, probably not, but you know, something sweet. So I had a little less than half of that chocolate bar and I'm having an apple because I want something fresh. And breakfast time, a bit different today. I have coffee with pumpkin spice syrup and oat milk and vitamin B12. I have orange juice, 
lots of leftover orange juice from baking, and zinc and iron. I didn't make anything to eat because I'm not hungry. <laughs> Don't know if you can see it through the curtain, but there's a, a bee or wasp or whatever up there and I can't help it. I have a glass and a postcard at the ready to capture it and, you know, let it out. But if you're up there, I can't reach you. I can't, you know, pick you up. I don't know what to do. Hi, I'm back home from spending a lovely, lovely, lovely afternoon with my friend Steffi, who was in Berlin spontaneously. So we went for a little shopping spree and then for Brami Bar's donuts and a nice baby. She had a hot chocolate, I had a pumpkin spice latte. I also bought a few things. Let me unpack and show you. It's not that much. I have one of those cooking brushes. I didn't own one for some reason. So now I do. A uh, second tea egg. This one is golden, so that's really cool. <laughs> I guess it was also the, the most intriguing thing. It's lightly, it's not a perfect globe, but you know, it is what it is. It's nice, it's golden, and now I have two, so I can have loose leaf tea with another person. Then I also bought tea. <laughs> Apart from the Zydeco, now I have ginger licorice apple, I think. And I got some like name tag cards, I guess, for Christmas presents. And they were like, they're really cute. Winter solstice themes, but not too Christmas, except for this, because it says Christmas. But the others are like, not too Christmassy. And I also must say, I'm kind of proud that I didn't buy all the Deadpool merch that I saw at every store. I really wanted to. And I do love me some Deadpool. <laughs> and Star Wars also. But the Deadpool stuff really got to me. But I couldn't decide. <clears throat> and I don't have money to buy everything, so I opted for nothing. For now. One day when I have adult money, I'll go back and buy everything. I am going to clean the flat. So I put a bandana on my head, then I'll dust everything. I also have to probably tidy up some surfaces. And uh, then I'll vacuum back to Mariah Carey's new Christmas single. Oh, wait. What are you? Uh, the, the, the bug is back. Are you still alive? You look a little not so good. Okay, but I can catch you there. Oh, poor baby. It is alive though. Do you need a second? Do you need some, some, some sugar water? I'm not sure if I can just like kick you out like that. You seem a bit distressed. Oh, sweetie. That's a wasp though, isn't it? Still, how did you get in here? All right, cleaned the flat, dusted everything, wiped every surface that needs surfacing. Still have to tidy up a little. And I vacuumed, also did the bathroom. And I have some more tidying up to do. And as you can see, my dear old friend, the Christmas decoration is still out. I think I'm gonna start decorating today. Yeah. But I do need to take a shower now. Also, I've taken off all the magnets from the fridge. Because they're a little bit also dusty. Dirty! So they're about to be cleaned eventually. <laughs> and um, yeah, I did they. Isn't that fun? Okay, but I do need to take a shower. <laughs> Making pizza. That's the before and after. Fresh out of the oven. I put brown mushrooms, white onions, black olives, and cheese, and basil on it. And I put extra garlic in the sauce. Okay, put up something. I put up my village of glittery stags up there. I put the reef up there. The stocking, I thought about adding a ribbon, but I don't have ribbon. And I also have these tiny stockings, don't know what to do about it. Quite a bit of standard silver ornaments. A lot of adding some to that. And I have heavy ornaments. I'll try to attach most of them to that. This garland, not sure. Ooh, and sugar canes. Ah, figure it out. Turns out I don't have any 
What are they called? Christmas lights. So I guess I'll have to get some. Hmm. TBD. Anyway, I need to eat my pizza now, which I need the table for. Already started having some, but I'm eating that pizza now. <laughs> and holly oaks. Can you see? <gasps> some to tea. Now I'm on to some chocolate for afters. And we're on to pumpkin soup. I want to use up the leftover pumpkin. Also, I'm going to use the leftover onion, all the spices, coconut milk, and some broth. And I'm having one bowl of the pumpkin soup. It's a lot thinner than last time I did it, but I also had more pumpkin. But it's it tastes good already. <laughs> and I'm having a second bowl. So breakfast time. I made oats, the regular ingredients, but I put made them on the stove this morning instead of in the fridge overnight. I still am on orange juice. I'm still on coffee with pumpkin spice syrup, oat milk. I have the oat milk and vitamin B12 and my other supplements, iron and zinc. Like that. I'm still under it. Yay! Guten Appetit. And warum solltest du das für den Teller nehmen? I'm finally back home. I went to my mom's house to pick up the advance calendar that I was gifted for my birthday and the weeks. My sister was there, we played some Yahtzee, she made some vegan lentil-based burger for me and some random vegetables with a little bit of um, thickened broth as sauce. It was a bit exhausting today, <laughs> but you know, it's one of those days, I suppose. Yeah, now I'm home. I've also already taken a shower. Um, by the way, it was a fairly close call coming back home because I had to go to the bathroom fairly urgently. And um, yeah, the oven is preheating. I think I'm going to do the second bit of the pizza. But let me show you. I mean, I'm not going to put them on. I really need to wash them. I have these, this wig and this very mullet-like wig. We'll see what use I can find. Also some leftover sparkly apple, some soda water, I don't know. And the advent calendar. I intend to put it here on the door where I put my advent calendar last year. It's a bit decorative and also won't get damaged when opening anything. There you go. Vegan advent calendar mounted. Oh, it's lopsided, it's not fully scented. Fuck. Anyway, it's up now. <laughs> Just a quick before of the pizza, before I even put the cheese on, I may have overdone on the onion <laughs> and could have used more mushroom, but you know, it is what it is. And pizza time, pizza's ready. And catching up on hot yolks. <sighs> Good morning. I just weighed myself and it turns out I stayed the same. I'm at one point, no one, I'm at 112.0 kilos just as at the beginning of last week. So no gain, no loss. But yeah, that's the resolution to this week's vlog. Thanks for watching and like, subscribe and comment and see you next week. That was weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs>